right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Juggernaut. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Ooh! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? 
All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to them. No healing out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. And they set them. Big ball to punch land. Now we get back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. He chopped the wood with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just missed with the left there. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Big hook. Defense there to block the shot. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Ooh, what a punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the team. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Blocks the shot to the body. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Big leg kick lands. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Punch to the body is blocked. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, big punch man. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's able to slip the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 15 seconds. Nice uppercut. 10 seconds to go in the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Take a deep breath. Now listen, probably lost that round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Shot lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bach. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat low. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Back to the feet. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world and walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. 